Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. In this video I'm going to be covering how I studied and passed for the CYSA Plus or also known as the Cybersecurity Analyst Plus. Now in this past month I took four courses, two including the CYS Plus as well as the Pentest Plus. Both exams took me roughly about one week to pursue and complete and then luckily I was able to pass. Uh, of course, the experience may vary. For me, I grew up reading a lot of books on cybersecurity, so some things were already really well grounded for me. And also, too, if you've taken something like the Security Plus, I would say it's actually quite similar to the exam. So, what to do and how to prepare? For me, normally with taking a lot of CompTIA exams, I think I have around six to seven certs now from them, I've realized, right, always going to the syllabus. No matter what cert you take, you want to see what's defined, what may be on the exam, and make sure you can go through that list kind of one by one and doing a checklist. So that was the very first thing I did. I looked at their official syllabus. The next thing I did is I went with a video because I like learning visually through videos. And so I ended up choosing the Jason Dion's course uh, for this exam. And I was very happy I did this. There's actually certain parts I'll explain in a little bit that I think were the key part of me passing the exam and it was very helpful. So I used Jason Dion's uh, course on Udemy and it was a big time help, took really good notes as I went through each section. Then the next thing I did is I got a study guide book. I think it's by like Cybex if I'm saying that right. They tend to have a lot of really good study guides for each CompTIA exam. And it's a lot easier than buying like the official CompTIA book, which I think has just an overload of information and it's really unnecessary. So that study guide was another set of tools that I used. It has uh, practice quizzes through each chapter. So that really helps you gauge, hey, what do I really know and what could I improve in? And then another tool I used that was actually very helpful and I think everyone should use to some level of degree is ChatGBT. I'm actually taking Python, uh, intro to Python, D335, and I'm using that as I learn on how to code in Python. And this helped me with the getting the CompTIA cert because there would be certain terms I would want it to help me define. You know, I would type in prompts like, hey, could you say this word like I'm five years old and explain it to me? A really good tactic is to copy the words in the syllabus, paste it into chat GBT, and say, define these. And I did that for me, and I actually went into the CompTIA book and kind of referenced just to make sure those definitions were, you know, up to date and they were correct. And ChatGBT did a wonderful job in defining almost all the terms. So if we're covering what I went over, first look at the syllabus, Jason Dion's video, if you can afford that, or if you're attending WGU like me, and then also the study guide book by Cybex, along with using ChatGBT. Um, for another resource. So something I'll say as a key point is, again, this exam was really like the Security Plus. The only thing was an addition of logs. So knowing how to examine logs, go through it and explain what's occurring, right? And what attack is taking place is huge. I'm really happy that I took this exam and then the Pen Test Plus right after because they're almost similar in that aspect of being able to look at logs or code and understanding what's taking place. So again, make sure you understand how to look at a log, how to an analyze it and go through it. Uh, Jason Dion's video course does a wonderful job with this. A tip I will say, make sure you understand your scoring in regards to CVSS, okay? CVSS scoring. Make sure you know this. Make sure you can write it down and know it by heart because this is something that may come up on the exam and was very helpful for me to know. And again, Jason's video covers this and I think he does one of the best examples of going over this topic. So shout out to his material. It was very helpful in the process. So that was pretty much it. Again, it took me about a week to do the exam. I felt really confident, still nervous like most of you, but I was able to do it. If you've taken anything like, again, Security Plus or even Network Plus, you're going to have a really good, strong set of knowledge already going into this cert. So don't be afraid to go ahead and schedule that exam. If you guys have any additional questions, feel free to ask me. 
I have a Discord as well, so if you want that, just reach out to me, and I'd be glad to help with any questions you may have. Thank you guys, and good luck on your cybersecurity journey.